Hi, I'm Router Bob. Welcome to Shop Saber Minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to change over a Sidekick combination machine from routing to plasma. The procedure for converting a Sidekick combination machine from routing to plasma is really simple. The first thing we do is remove the router head, then we remove the table. That exposes the plasma table, and then all we have to do is add the plasma head. Now, before you start all that, be sure you turn the power off. Now, let's go out in the shop and do this. The first thing I normally do is to move the gantry forward so it's easier to get to, and then there's really two electrical connections that you remove. And when you get that done, just fold the wires back out of the way so they don't hit anything. And then once that's done, we're going to mechanically take the, the plate off. And it's a lot easier if you'll actually have the nose of the spindle resting on a block of wood. Then I normally break all six bolts loose, then take the bottom four out, and then go back and take the top two. And the spindle basically sits on that block, and that enables me to actually just pick it up and, and move it wherever I want to place it. To remove the table, the first thing we do is we remove the actual leveling bolts, and there's six of them. And it's a good idea to have a cordless drill because they're very long. They actually go down and they rest on some steel plates that are welded into the bottom of, of the water table. So we take six of those out first. And then, finally, then we take the bolts that are along the edge of the left and right side of the table. And once again, a cordless drill is probably the easiest way to do that. Once we get all those ready, then we're actually ready to lift the table up and move it and move it off of there. Now, once you've got those bolts up, now it's a good idea to go ahead and push the gantry to the back of the machine so that you have real good access to get the table out of the machine itself. And of course, before we can lift it, we actually have some rings that fit into threaded holes, and there should be one roughly on each corner. We thread those in. We're actually going to use those rings to, to give us a way to lift that whole table assembly. Now, there's a couple ways you could do that. In our case, we have a forklift, but you may not. It's, it's actually not that hard to do uh, with people. If you have enough people, you can basically take two two-by-fours, uh, attach them to those rings, and then have two people on each end of a two-by-four lift it and move it away. Of course, in our case, with the forklift, we just position the forklift right over the table. And then the, what we're actually going to do is we're going to take some straps and strap across the forklift, and then we'll just we'll use it to, to slowly raise it above the table and slowly back out of the way. Now, once we remove the top, the actual water table is uh, is exposed and it's ready to go. The final thing we need to do is to attach the torch that's attached to the tool plate with a couple bolts and you'll see three wires in this case because this machine has a collision avoidance system on it so one of those wires says touch that has to be attached to the connector up above that says touch the other two don't matter they're interchangeable once that's done we're ready to make something with the plasma part of the machine well, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Sidekick is a remarkable machine because it's both a plasma and a CNC router. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.